Let's first cover ACL overview. ACL stands for Access Control List. Each ACL contains multiple ACEs or Access Control Entries. And you can also think of an Access Control Entry as an ACL Statement. So basically ACL is a collection of statements or ACEs. ACL either permits or denies traffic. That's a very basic function of an ACL. So as you can see the picture here, ACL is analogous to a coffee filter. So if you think of a coffee filter, what does it do? It traps the coffee grounds, but it allows the flow of liquid to go through. Similarly, ACLs filter traffic in our network. Each ACL is either applied inbound or outbound on an interface. ACLs actually do a lot more than permit or deny. And here are some of the things ACLs do. They filter ingress or egress traffic on an interface. They filter routing updates to and from neighboring routers. They are used in policy-based routing. They're used in network address translation. And when they use them in NAT, they're primarily used for not permitting or denying traffic, but they're used for matching traffic. In VPN, similar functionality as NAT. They're used for matching traffic. And QoS, same idea. We use ACLs to match traffic. You can either create a numbered ACL or a named ACL. There are three main types of ACL, standard ACL, extended ACL, and named ACL. Now named ACL is not a new type of ACL. It's actually a spin on standard or extended ACL, and I'll get into those details momentarily, but just keep in mind that named ACL leverages either a standard or an extended ACL. Each ACL is processed top to bottom. Each access control entry can only have one set of condition, either permit or deny. If no match is found, next is is processed in that list. If a match is found, that's it. Processing stops, no further aces are executed, and the whole idea here is first match logic. Meaning, if you think of an ACL as a sequence or a list of statements, as soon as the router finds the first match, it stops executing because that's it, it found the match and it's done. So for example, if you have 10 entries in your ACL, if the first entry matches the packet, that's it. The nine other statements in your ACL will be ignored because we have found our match. Now, order of statements is important in an ACL. The most specific or restrictive statements should be at the top of the ACL and the least restrictive should be at the bottom or the more general should be at the bottom of the ACL. Once again, the reason it's important is it's literally a list and whatever is at the top of the list has the highest level of importance because that will get processed first and the more general statements should be at the bottom of the list. Each ACL contains an implicit or invisible deny any at the bottom of the list. So this is a big gotcha. And one important thing to note is only one ACL can be applied per interface per direction. Now what that means is if you have an interface, you can have an inbound ACL and also an outbound ACL. But the inbound ACL is going to have to be different from the outbound ACL for obvious reasons, right? Um, but you cannot have two different inbound access lists applied to a single interface or two different outbound access lists applied to a single interface. It doesn't work this way. You can only have a single ACL applied to an interface in each direction. 
Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.